Perfect. Jumping here. I got the coins as you guys can see. <gasps> Wait, what? No, what happened? Alright, next up, let me make my way to the port because this is gonna be actually the final one, the final strategy that we're gonna use to make some money in the game. And for this strategy, we're actually gonna steal from the port. That's what we're gonna be doing. So, let me make my way inside here. And what I'm trying to steal, of course, is gonna be the coins. I'm definitely gonna try to get my hands on the coin crates from the port. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to do quite a couple of things first. Uh, let me make my way up here. We gotta see what the code is for uh, this area. Come on, puppy. Oh my god, I think my puppy is stuck, and because of that, I cannot go upstairs. <laughs> oh, you kidding me, game? Come on, puppy. Gosh dang it. Alright, alright, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My puppy is stuck here, so I'm gonna have to send him back home. There we go. Let me again call for the elevator. Go to level 2. Uh, we're gonna have to look for the codes for warehouse 2, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's see if we can find them. That's not it. Oh, warehouse 2. So, it's 5128. 5128. Okay, okay, okay. 5128. Hopefully, I'm not gonna forget. Okay, I got the code. Uh, next up, what I'm gonna have to do is do a job, which is gonna be this one, the low secure cargo. Hopefully I'm gonna get secure too though, because that's what we need in order to uh, do the, do it right. And if unfortunately it's giving us secure one, that is not what it wants. We could of course steal the oranges and, still, and sell the oranges as well, but we don't want this one. We want secure two to get the coins. So because of that, what I'm gonna do is exit. And we're going to have to try the mission again. I don't think he's going to give it up again for me, right? Yeah, he's not going to give it again to you. So what you're going to have to do in this case, you're going to have to go to sleep, reset the day. And hopefully tomorrow we're going to get secure too. Alright, there we go. It is a brand new day here. We're going to try this again. Hopefully we're going to get it right. Uh, first of all, since we are here, let me see if the code has changed though for secure too. Uh, hold up, buddy. There's another one. Nope. Nope, and hold up. No. That's just a picture. Uh, that's secure three though, but we already know the codes for that. Nope, that's not right. That's not what I need. Oh, come on, give me secure two. Well, hopefully secure two is the one that we already got, right? Hopefully the code is not gonna change. Oh, secure two. Oh, 68.92, so it does change every single day. Uh, 68.92. Let me try to note this down. All right, we got the code. Now, all I'm hoping is that I'm going to get secure two for the mission. Let me get these ones in because I'm kind of out of food. Right, and let's see if I'm gonna get the correct job. All right, perfect. Please give me secure two. Give me warehouse two. Yes. All right. So this is what you need, right? You need to get secure warehouse two. All right. And the way, the reason we need this is because we need to move those pipes uh, from the sewage. Uh, first of all, though, I gotta go ahead and eat something because I'm kind of starving here. Another thing I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna get myself some energy drinks while we're here. Because I just noticed that we do not have any in our backpack. There we go. And let's keep it going. Now, hold up. The mission is to bring stuff or uh, pick up. Yeah, we gotta pick it up and put it to warehouse uh, to birth one. Nothing funny, you hear? Okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. I gotcha. the coins. Uh, 
at the same time, let me also make sure I remove this. Now, of course, you don't have to do this mission if you don't want to. Um, even if you exit right now, once you remove those pipes, it's still going to work. But it is going to give me some extra money while we're at it. So, yeah, let's just do it. It's pretty easy to do. It's a really easy mission to do. There you go, buddy. Lastly, two more crates. Just like that. And we're done. Perfect, 600 coins. All right, the mission is complete. It's barely just 11 a.m., which means I'm definitely gonna do some more missions over here. Uh, we gotta wait for nighttime to arrive, right? So let's just do some more missions in the port then. Nope, I don't wanna chat with you. Uh, pick up a pick up birth. Okay, so we gotta pick up six sauces and two ketchup. Got one. Got another one here. Here, I guess. I think this is the most difficult one because you gotta go through all these packages, move them around to access the other ones that you need. That's what makes it a little bit more difficult. Alright. Stack it on top of this one. Just need. Nope. Thank you, dude. Stay there. We'll move this one outside as well. This one. Also have to be stacked outside so I can move around a little bit faster. Grab that one. On top of that. Uh, we do have one more over here. It's gonna be stacked up with not the banana, but I guess now that we got the banana, let me place it here. There we go. Alright, and all these are gonna go to birth one. Man, I would love to actually have a game that's only about forklifting stuff around. I think the game could be pretty fun, to be honest. Alright, and the final chest is gonna be this one, more like crates. go mission completed we're gonna have to do quite a lot of missions of course because we just woke up in the tower which means the day just started and it's barely just 3 p.m uh so let's do another one all right next up let's do this one all right buddy uh you need me to go to two pulps six coal and one copper We gotta bring him to birth one here. Alright, let me bring... Oh, I'm getting stuck, seriously. How did I get stuck like that? Well, I guess it's gonna be two coppers here. Let me just leave him just like that for now. I'm gonna try to push him along with others. Uh, let me grab one pull. Here. Try to push the copper as well, the coal as well. I guess that works. It is pretty slow, but at least I'm bringing three over. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Let's leave it there. there we go. Perfect. How much copper do we need? Just one? Yeah, just one. So let's grab this one. Place it 
there. Well, I'm also going to grab another pulp. And unfortunately, you cannot really stack these pulps. I'm just trying to push this one around, but apparently it's not really working as I really intended. There we go. I guess this works. Is it going to count if I just place it on top? Oh, it does. Awesome. Perfect. All I need now is uh, four. Cool. I think so, yeah, because we needed six. It is 8 p.m. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be kicked off. Am I? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be kicked off. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to switch to the assistant manager outfit. There we go. Let me tell this guy to allow me to control this. Uh, this camera should be this way. This camera, I guess we can zoom it in there. Uh, this camera, we don't really care about it because I think I'm going to go through the boxes then. Uh, this one is the one that we got to move because this is the one that's going to film us going inside there. But you know what? Let's just move this one. Zoom in there. Unfortunately, I also got kicked out because uh, the schedule just ended, but that's fine. We already moved the camera, so we should be good on that front. I'm gonna still check again to make sure. Uh, let me drive inside here. We are a supervisor, so uh, thankfully I do have access to this area. Let me get myself the fast running shoes on. Let me make sure the cameras are all moved. So, yep, this one is moved. I don't know why it glitched out like this though. So that's going to be like that. Yeah, the cameras are all good. Uh, the forklift, though. My forklift is going to have to be placed over here. Just like that. And this fellow is going to try to chase me off. But thankfully, I'm going to be able to run faster than him. Hopefully. And not get caught while well, I'm gonna go inside over here. You could, of course, go through the fox's den as well, but I think this is a little bit faster, to be honest. Because I don't have to waste time going all the way to the fox. And also, if you haven't opened up the uh, port doors, uh, this is the way to do it, right? Because if you haven't opened up the door at the port for the sewers, you're not gonna be able to come here. All right. Let me make my way up top. Thankfully, we already removed the stuff from the source, as you guys can see. Uh, next up. I think I already got the code, right? Yeah, uh, what is the code? So the code is 6892. Hopefully it works. 689. Uh, there we go. Okay, this guy almost saw me. Let me open this up real fast. No, 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 no. Oh, God. That was so, so close. So close. All right. Thankfully, we got away there. Uh, let me make sure I get myself. I don't remember if I got the energy drink. Actually, I think I did. Yeah, but let me make sure I'm going to get another one. All right. Let me grab on one of these random forklifts. It's not mine yet, right? But I, I am going to get to mine eventually. Come on, dude, can you leave? And get out. 
go. Next up, I need to leave this one here. So I open this up, turn off the light. Jeez, oh, not this again. All right. We can go over the coins. Get rid of this one. Uh, let me make sure I get my sneaky outfit on. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I also need the shoes on. So let me make sure I just walk down here very slowly so that this guy doesn't hear me. Activate the button. And now we can stealthily leave. Let me get back my outfit. I don't need to uh, wear that anymore. Perfect. Jumping here. I got the coins, as you guys can see. <gasps> Wait, what? No, what happened? Oh, now it's open again. Air it out. There we go. So that is how you do it, guys. That is how you steal from the port. For some reason, that guy woke up, told me that I cannot steal that, and then went back to sleep. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened there, but that was weird. Uh, now I gotta make sure I hurry up to some place, drink up some energy before I faint, and I keep on driving back home. Thankfully, I have my fast uh, forklift, right? Which means it's not gonna take us this long to make it back home. Come on, buddy. Almost there. Uh, I'm gonna stop by the shopping strip to get some energy drink. Because we do have a table over there. And it's also gonna be closer to home. Alright. Let me get some energy. Thankfully, we have enough. No, I don't need that. I need energy. There we go. So either energy or coffee works. Whichever you guys have on you. But uh, grabbing the energy drink is pretty easy because you can actually grab it from the port. As you're doing the robbery. Come on, almost there. Finally. We got some more coins. There we go. Crack it open, buddy. Let me see what we get. And for all this work, we're getting... Oh my god, what? One crate is 5,000 and the other one is 4,500? I thought they were not this expensive. Huh. You know what? I think they might have actually increased the amount of coins inside these crates because that was almost 10,000 coins in a single crate. Are you kidding me? That was so much. Oh, man. All right. Anyway, guys, there you have it. This has been another episode of Sneaky Sasquatch. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like down below. Now, if I actually missed any strategies that you can get some money in Sneaky Sasquatch, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did all of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I may have missed some. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments below if I did, which one I have missed, and I'm definitely going to check him out. But that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe. And guess what? Sasquatch is no longer poor again. We are already back to 78,000 coins. And if I'm not mistaken, we also have 7,000 in the bank, which means we have about 150,000 in total. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one coming up very soon. Bye, everybody.